All right, in this video, we're gonna get into showing our data on a map. So what we're gonna wanna do is go to get a chart. What chart we're gonna wanna get, it's not really a chart at all. It's a Google map. They have GeoMap and Google Map, and I prefer Google Map. Uh, I think it's just because of the experimental nature of um, some of the features inside of Google Data Studio that maybe GeoMap is not exactly what we want. So when we get a map right now, our bubble location is showing up as state, but we're gonna go with city. Um, we could just as well probably go with um, zip code. One thing too you'll have to see is that because it's coding the city to just different cities worldwide inside of Google's database, it doesn't know maybe the specific city. But as you can see, we go down here and we'll have the bulk of our data will be represented in Maryland. So that'll be um, effective enough, but we will want to just look and see what we can do uh, with that. So if I take a zip code, put that in here and we'll see how that displays as well let's see if we can get more uh, and that actually just puts it more international for some reason that is pulling uh, from an international scale so let's go ahead and just go back to city and then let's go and define the bubble size which we will use the record count because we want a bigger bubble depending on how um, how many crimes are happening in that area so when we go to view and we zoom in on this one, we can also scroll in on this map, we'll see the same type of effect right here. So good deal. Let's go ahead and modify this just a little. If I go to the style here, you can see we can change this from uh, just a regular flat base map to a satellite map, which is, uh, I kind of prefer map for this one because we don't really need to see any defining features. If we were doing something nature related, maybe that will be uh, more applicable to the satellite, like National State Park or something like that. Um, also with colors, we can just go ahead and change the colors around here and that will show the, uh, that'll be our bubble color, right? So we still got the regular styling here and I'm gonna put the um, header to say always show. And then we'll have our map. And one thing I like to have with maps this is just my preference is I just like to have a good old table um, and I'm gonna do a table with a heat map I'm just gonna throw that in there nice thing about tables you can just take any piece of data and you can just align it um, inside the table here so I'm gonna take uh, we'll do city we'll do um, police district name and I'll just drag and drop those in there it's really nice so we can see the police district and let's take um, crime name two and put that in there and see this will chop the data up to um, display only only the highest in in that category so we get silver spring all other offenses is the highest right so we got that in there and we see silver spring is the highest for the top eight um, items let's go ahead and change the style slightly um, we're going to remove row numbers because i don't think those are really valuable they kind of take away matter of fact we could probably fit another column in here so let's see what other um, stuff we could put in here let's take Actually, let's just add location and that's interesting because location is more uh, the specifics of an area like an apartment or a street. Um, so actually interesting. Oh, so now that's the, uh, that's place, but the location, the actual coordinate, that's interesting. The highest uh, crime in this data set is shoplifting at this location, these coordinates, which is actually pretty interesting. Um, we can see shoplifting also falls highest on the most categorized by location or most consistently categorized by location i bet because that's probably the coordinates for a mall or something like that so they all fall in the exact same place because they just use the coordinates for the mall probably so this is an interesting thing you can see in our data set and we'll actually just for the sake of um this just take that out i'm going to go over to um if you want to change the column alignment you can do that as well and 
So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave these all to the left, but that's just a nice option to know. And we do have a heat map, so I'm going to go ahead and take the heat map, and I'm going to change it to red. And we're going to do compact numbers. All right, cool. So when we go to view this, we can go ahead and sort by crime name 2. And let's start at the top and work our way down. So wire fraud. We can scroll down this. The only thing I don't like about the way this is configured is this kind of blocks the number a little bit when you scroll. So if that's the case, now we know that our customer is maybe going to deal with that. We might want to go in here into the styling and see if we can't get, uh, change some of that um, alignment. But it looks like for this last uh, level right here. Uh, oh, there we go. Yep. So we can move the metric count over. And now we, when we view it, we can scroll down and that will not interfere with the, or it won't go over the number right there. And we have our heat map. Cool. So that is how to do maps and uh, table in there. And we're going to go see it in the next video.